Welcome back. Today we're going to continue looking at classes in Python and we're going to create our own class. So classes, they have attributes and methods and then when you create a class you can set those attributes or change them, you can give it methods or take them away or you can just run the methods. But the attributes are I guess variables that are associated with that class whereas methods are functions that that class can run. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here that's new. So we'll start. First you've got class. So the class keyword just says you're defining a class in the same way that when you put def, it says you're defining a function. Then we've got this fancy init statement, and that just means that when you create a class, this runs, and you can't stop it from running, it will always run. Then in every function or method you create, you have this self keyword, and that's referring to the class itself, and you can't leave this out. And then you have an argument, although they're not necessary, in the same with every other function. So then what we're doing is we're using this self keyword again, which says that it's this instance, not the other one. We're saying that this instance has the argument, which is the argument we put in. So here we create an instance, and we set it equal to the class name, and we put in brackets the argument. So what that's done is, is it's looked for class name, found the class, and then it's run this init function. And the first argument you can't actually see, which is the self, and then the argument matches up to the argument. And then it's set this instance's argument variable equal to the argument. And then you can also have other methods. So for example here, we've got a class we define the constructor as this is known and again we set this instance's argument to the argument and then we define a function and again it has the self keyword and this function is called do something so it just does something so if we look at the instance we call it again with the argument and then we do the function so this will call the do fun something function and afterwards the argument here is equal to what we put in because we've set this instance's argument to argument. So probably you found that quite confusing. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at what that actually means in an example. So first I'm going to create a class and I'll call it example class and then you want to define a constructor so I'll say def and then init and of course we need the self keyword and I'm going to put in a name for this class and that will be our argument you could have as many as you want and then we'll just say that this class's name is equal to name so now I'll create an instance and I'm going to create a few so I'll create one called instance1 and I'll say this is equal to the example class and we're going to initialize it and you can see here that it's only given us the option to put in a name there's no option to put in self because that's done automatically and we'll say that the name in this case is instance1 and then we'll create a second one called instance2 and we can run this but nothing will happen So maybe we we'll also want to create a method. So maybe what we want to do here is we want to print the names. So I'll print instance1 and I'll print its name. And I'll do the same with instance2. And then run it again. And we see instance1 says that its name is instance1. But instance2 says that its name is instance2. So you can see even though they're the same class, the value of the name is different. Maybe we'll also create a method, and I'm going to call this one print name. And of course, we need the self keyword. And we also want this time a value. And so, what we'll do is we'll print the name, and then we'll print it value times. So here instead, I'm going to call instance1.printName, 
and I'll do it twice and instance two dot print name and I'll do it three times so what we can expect now is that we create two instances and they have different names and then when we print the names we take in this argument value but we also use the name of this class and then print it out so you can expect here that we're going to get instance one printed twice and then instance three printed and then instance two printed three times and we can just of course confirm that and so we can see that it's working and we've got a class but maybe we want to do something else so we want to change the name so I'll create a function called change name and again self and I'll create a new name we'll say that the name is equal to the new name but maybe we want to keep the first name so we'll say that the old name is just equal to the current name So I'm going to do it with just one instance, so I'll comment out instance 2. So I've just done control slash, and that means that it's not going to run those lines of code. And so now I'm going to change instance 1's name. So I'll say, I'm going to change the name, and the new name is just going to be instance, because now we've only got one. And then I'm going to print the new name using the print name function. and I'm going to print it out just once and I'm going to print the old name so I'm going to print instance one dot old name and so now what will happen is we'll create the instances before using the init keyword then we'll print the name twice because we're using that then we'll change the name and then we'll print the, then we'll run print name which will use the name which has the value of new name and then we'll print the old name which is of course the old name so we can run it and see it's printed that out twice then it's printed the new name once and then here we've told it to print the old name so it's printed out the old name and so hopefully you have after this a good understanding of classes and you know what you can do with them on a basic level of course there are many other things you can do with classes but these are the basics they're really useful to use because you can create lots and lots of instances uh, with just small changes in their parameters and then as you can see they give you different results when you run certain functions so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again same time next week till then